Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Spring and I'm so excited to have you guys here. We're going to go through a 30 minute Muay Thai class today. No equipment. We're going to go through some shadow boxing, some basic strikes and then finish off with some combinations. Let's do it. I'm pretty warm guys. I just finished my training so I'm ready to go. If you need to pause the video, get yourself warmed up. Do that and then come back when it goes straight into our work today. In today's session guys, we're going to do 8 3 minute rounds of work. There's 40 second break in between. I'll talk you guys through what to do. In the break time, if you want to, you can go into some exercises like squats or squat jumps. So make sure you're still looking at me while you're doing those exercises and I can explain the next round to you guys. All right, timer on. We're going to go into round one, finding your stance. So if you're an orthodox fighter or you're a right-handed person, bring that left leg forward. Otherwise, if you're a lefty, right leg in front. So in your stance, guys, just rocking forward and back while you guys feel comfortable in your feet. Yeah? So feeling grounded, hands are up, temple height. I like to put my lead hand a little bit more in front than my rear hand, but the rear hand's nice and tight here. Just rocking forward and back, find your rhythm. Okay, let's move forward, stepping forward the front leg. Front leg leading, step, step, try to keep good distance to your feet, and backwards. So you don't want to roll into your heel as you step back, stay in the balls of your feet, and don't lock your legs up. All right, forward again. Just following along, guys, round one and two, keeping it basic to the lead side. Lead leg steps, and then to the rear side. All right, back into the middle, we're here. Let's go into some angles, stepping off, lead side first. Lead leg, angle off, find your stance. We're gonna reset into the middle, so we can see. Four more times, step, turn. Step, turn. If you want, you can put your lead hand out just to guide the angle. If you're starting out with your angles, just practice the feet. Step first, turn, and then find your rhythm. One more, step, turn, and back. Let's try the rear side. I like to step forward, find my opposite stance, switch my stance, and then from there, either throwing a strike or returning back into your regular stance. Four more times, step, turn. Make sure you're angling off 45 degrees with the back foot, Step, and then find your stance. Two more. Step, turn. Last one. Step, turn. All right, so those are your basic kind of footwork movements. Let's go into your basic strikes. So following along again, find your stance. Basic jab cross. Step with the jab, and then turn with the cross. Okay, so stepping forward, step, step. And then find back into your stance again. When you're striking, try and exhale as you strike. No tension here, try not to be stiff and start locking out your hands. I want you guys to relax, relax, find full extension and rotation through the body. So from your feet and back into stance. Two more times. Again, okay, let's move on to your elbow. So rear elbow, horizontal, lead elbow, yeah? So from there, bring my wrist to the opposite armpit and I twist, that's just like my cross. And that's like similar to my jab. Okay, again, rear elbow, high guard, lead, and back. Again, rear, lead, 10 more seconds, continue, lead, nice and sharp, turn the body, and time. Okay, my guys at home, if you're following along, go into either 10 squats or 10 squat jumps. And then listening in for next round, again, keeping it super basic, let's go into some of your leg strikes. So watching from the side, next round we're gonna focus and start on our push kick. So here, lead teep and rear teep. So I wanna focus on teeping to the torso today. So lifting your leg up, pushing to the torso area, back down, rear teep and back down. Using the ball of the foot to strike, same hand will drop. So if I'm using my lead leg, my lead hand drops, okay? Let's have a look at those basic teeps. Find your stance, alternating sides. Keep your chin tucked in. Some common mistakes would be falling backwards too far as you teep. So let your backwards bend be a natural kind of occurrence after you trust your hips up, yeah? So from here, in your stance, lift and teep. Try hold, nice strong ground, teep and back. Keep that core strong. Stand tall. Try not to bend 
your back leg and sit into it, nice and tall. Okay, let's do two more teeps. All right, moving on to your knee. So watching here, we're gonna take a little step forward, the lead leg, drive up, rear knee, and back to stance. Again, step, strike. Okay, let's keep to that rear side first. Again, rear knee, step, strike, and back to stance. You can see how I'm dropping the same hand for my rear knee. Using the right leg, right hand drops, swing, other hand tight. Point your toes backwards and try and tuck your heel into your bum. So I'm here, I point my toes down, heel tucks in, step, drive. Two more, and back, nice and tall on that support leg, and back. Okay, switch knee. From here guys, switch your legs, and I want you guys to go into, bop, driving up into your left knee. Switch, knee. And again, switch, knee. So you're swapping your legs, jumping, knee. All right, let's do five more. Switch knee, and back. Two more. Okay, roundhouse kick. So from here, stance, little step opening, turn, bop. Kick all the way through, turning your shin over. Again, rear kick first. Step across the line, kick, and back. Make sure your heels off the ground so you can rotate fully. Again, step, kick, up. We're gonna kick all the way through, keep it relaxed. Two more, step, kick, swing that hand, other hand guard tight. One more, okay, switch kick. So we're here, again, back to stance, switch, similar to your knee. Lean that weight in the opposite leg, I want you guys to turn, kick all the way through. Keep your hips relaxed, again, Couple more. Timing, go. So just body height for these roundhouse kicks. Till the buzzer. Last one. All right, time. My guys at home again, pick an exercise. 10 squats, 10 squat jumps. Let's go into our combinations. So we're gonna finish all the combinations with a leg strike today. So start, first combo, nice and simple. Jab. Up, lead, elbow, and then rear knee. And I want you guys to angle off afterwards, okay? Again, so jab, step forward again. Lead, elbow, from there. Knee, land, angle. So putting all that together into a combination, nice and smooth. All right, that's our first round of combos, let's go. Almost forgot it. <laughs> you don't have to move fast, you can slow it down. You can go jab, bop, step, elbow, knee, land, angle off. Important part of doing these guys is to find your balance when you're doing them, yeah? So keeping your knees soft, you're not falling over after your strikes, you're not leaning forward, bop, especially after that knee into the angle, you're finding good feet. You have a mirror, guys. You want to be hitting the target about your height. Middle, step in for the elbow. Knee, angle. Especially after that jab and elbow, you want to step in. So here, you're not going to be able to hit anyone if you're progressing forward and they're moving back after the jab. You're going to chase. Elbow, drive with the knee, and then move off. Move around. If you have space, I'm going to keep facing you guys for the video, but if you have space at home, we get to move around, use your footwork before going into the combination at your own pace. If you want to add in filler strikes, you see my other videos, you can add teeps in, fakes, even just single jabs, moving around, visualize someone in front of you. Visualizing, fakes, and then go into your combo when you're ready. Nice and sharp, move around, range, you don't want to switch off in between the combinations. Hands up.
One more minute. Keep your breathing in check. 15 seconds. Time. All right, my guys, exercises between rounds. Looking in next round. Let's go into our cross. Bop. From there, we go into switch knee. Bum, land forward. Rear elbow, and then we're going to go into a rear knee again, yeah? So again, cross, yeah, switch knee, bum, land forward, rear elbow, rear knee. Again, finishing with a leg strike. So starting that cross from here, keep the weight forward, swap your legs, drive out with the knee, land, chase with the elbow, and chase with a final knee. Okay, let's do it, round on. Move around, add your filler strikes, deep, even defenses, if you know how to do basic defense, check, lean, go for it. Move around. Try a nice timing with that drop, guys. After you go switch knee, land, drops into an elbow, bop, another long knee. So from here, cross, switch, bum. The landing should help you power up that rear elbow. Remember not to be flat footed, especially when you're throwing lots of knees, heel, off the ground. Doing well, guys. Keep breathing. Last minute now. Nice and sharp. Last 15. Time. All right, exercises and moving on to our next run. So let's start with jab and teep from here. Jab, teep, lead teep, okay? Again, jab, teep, we guys to use that teep to fake it, and then going to a brown house kick. So all together, jab, 
teep, after you land that push kick, fake it and kick, okay? So that fake draws a reaction from my partner, makes them flinch and they can land your body kick. All together, jab, teep, from here, fake, kick, just rear kick for now. All right, let's go, timer on. When you're doing your fake, guys, it's kind of like the first half movement of your teep. So jab, teep, from there, bop, nice and explosive. Just lift the knee up as quickly as you can, and then when you put it down, make sure you're set up for your rear kick. So I like to kind of just put it just a little bit off the line. When you're faking, though, middle, yeah? Again, jab, teep, stay long, fake, up, kick. Body kick to the ribs, again. So between the fake and the teep, so between teep here, bum, and the fake, you can pause in between. So from here, jab, teep, pause, then draw a reaction. Make them think about that teep all over again, okay? And again, sharp. When you train that lead teep, this comes up in classes quite often for beginners. You don't have to switch your feet to throw the lead teep, okay? From here, keeping my weight in the back leg. That jab is just like a flick, stiff jab, find my range, distract my partner, weights in the back leg, bum, throw that body teep. Again, bum, bum. Same with the fake, weights more on the back leg. Fake up, hey, and I transfer my weight forward into the body kick. Try to keep your legs relaxed as you kick all the way through. Try not to point your toes towards the target. Extend your foot out. Doing well, guys. Keep it up. Under a minute. Make sure you're pointing your toes out for that roundhouse kick. We're here. We're going to after you fake. Bop. Foot is pointing the direction bop, that I'm trying to kick to. Under 30 seconds. Okay, moving on, the exercises, watching in, let's work our switch kick. So from here, we're gonna start with a cross. We guys to move it with two crosses. Cross, cross. From there, bop, switch kick. Nice and simple. For the double crosses, you're chasing your partner, covering that range, and then landing a big body kick afterwards. So again, cross, cross, bop, a, and switch kick. One more time. Turn, cross, long, bum, bop. Okay, and round is on. Let's do it. Make sure your chin's tucked in when you're throwing that cross. You're not going head up, looking up, chin's tucked in. Cross, cross, switch kick. And again. Turn all the way through for your switch kick and then reset back to your stance again. And 
end up, move around, stay focused. You can use your fake as your filler strike as well. Yeah, so lifting that knee up that we did in the last round. Stay engaged, balls of your feet, stay sharp. Last minute. Good guy when you're kicking, chin tucked in, tuck it in under your elbow. Shoulder. Thirty seconds, guys. All right, let's move on, next round. We're gonna go into jab cross, step back, cross, and then from there, when you step in, lead elbow, all right? Again, step forward, jab cross, half step back, cross, and lead elbow. So just hands, and then we're gonna finish with knee strike, jab cross, step back, cross, lead elbow, bum, rear knee. Put that all together, jab cross, bum. Half step back, cross, Elbow, knee, move around. You can add in your angles afterwards to the rear side, to your lead side, up to you. So again, jab cross, half step back. So I'm just moving my back leg out of the way, cross. Step in with your lead elbow and then get ready for your knee strike. So we like to finish with the leg strikes in a combination, guys, because it just scores better in the fight. So practicing it in your shadow rounds is a good idea. Pop, pop. Move around. Bump. Oops, step back, cross, elbow, A. Defense, cross, bump, A. When you bounce back from that cross, so you jab cross here, bump, bump. After you step back, you land on that back foot, use it to propel yourself forward for the cross and move in, elbow and knee, okay? From the side, jab cross, bop, bop, half step across, elbow, knee, move around. These are filler strikes, you teach the leg, up, body, move, fakes, stiff jabs. All that in between. Always trying to feel your feet. When you're shadow boxing, guys, especially if you're working by yourself, just try and concentrate on how you're feeling in your feet, feeling grounded. You're not rushing through your strikes. For example, jab cross, you're going full rotation and extension, you're not going bop, bop short here. So make sure you're feeling your shoulders turn into the jab cross. Thirty seconds. Okay, 
One last round, we're going to finish with our switch kick. So starting it off, lots of leg strikes. So you go jab, bop, push kick, same like before. Now when we land forward, throw your rear push kick forward, okay? So from here, jab, tip. Now you're going to follow up, rear push kick, land forward into your lead kick. So we're not going to bring that right leg back. We're chasing our partner into a big roundhouse kick finish. So again, jab. Lead team, chase, rear team, land forward, stance is open, bop, kick all the way through. All right, round on, let's go. Stop your jab, bop, stop team, team, kick. So there's a lot of forward momentum with this combination. Again, jab first, team, land, team, land, kick. So think about pushing your partner back away from you in the ring. You're keeping that distance and finishing with a really high scoring um, technique. Usually when you throw that rear team, if you're not going to follow up, we bring it back into your stance, yeah? But for this one, you're following up with a big kick, just land it forward, prepare your feet. Kind of like a step up kick where you're going step and then kick yeah for this one step up using your teeth under two minutes Stay focused guys, stay engaged. No switching off between the combos. Stop, 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 stop. Relax through your hips when you're kicking, especially for that roundhouse kick. Stop, stop, stop. Under a minute. Stop, 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 stop. If you're landing too narrow after your rear push kick here, hard to throw that left kick. So make sure you're opening your stance up. Jab, tip, tip, open. And then you can land that body kick much easily, much more easily. So. Last 20, keep it sharp. So, so, so. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Woo! Time! Awesome work, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that workout, that Muay Thai class. Nice and basic. Go to your basic strikes. Keeping it simple, just jab cross, your basic horizontal elbows, the basic long knees, bop. Roundhouse kick and teep. Looking forward to the next few classes with you guys. Check it out on this channel over here and also check out my Instagram, Spring CI. You can find me there for not so similar videos, they're kind of just my journey in martial arts. I'll try and share more of that and also more classes here, share my tips and also these workouts because I find them super fun to do for myself and hopefully you guys find that helpful too. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye. <laughs>